Yo, you're watching the Screaming Fish here, people, and once again, I am here for yet another video, but this time, we are taking a look at a TV show, and as you can tell by the title, we are taking a look at the newest Netflix and Marvel TV show to come out, Luke Cage. So, Luke Cage, as some of you know, as I've just said, is Marvel's new newest Netflix TV show leading up to the Defenders TV show, which I am really excited for. So, I saw Luke Cage, all 13 episodes, of course, and now to ask the question that everyone asked as soon as those early critic reviews came in, came in, is this the best Marvel TV show or the best superhero TV show in general? So let's find out. So, after watching this show, I can definitely say that Luke Cage is one of the best superhero TV shows I've ever seen. I'm not even joking... I actually believe this. One thing for certain is that Luke Cage himself is an amazing protagonist. Mike Cutler is amazing in this role. He gave a really charismatic performance that worked perfectly with the character. He's also a really interesting character. And out of all the Marvel Netflix, Netflix characters, Luke Cage, in my personal opinion, has the most interesting backstory. His backstory is developed as the show goes on. And the episode where we get to see the full story of how he even got his powers and see the man he was beforehand is amazing. This is something that all the Netflix Marvel TV shows do that I love. The main focus is always on the characters. It's not just about how they got it, got their powers or how they're going to defeat the main villain. That's like 35% of this show. It's always about the characters and seeing them develop as the show goes on, which is my favorite part of literally all the ne the Netflix Marvel shows. As far as other characters go, pretty much all of them are great in my opinion. S Simone Cook was really good as Misty Knight. She had a lot of scenes in the show where I thought her performance was truly phenomenal and I really enjoy the scenes where she where she's interacting with Luke Cage himself. I also like Rosario Do Dawson as Claire Temple. She's appeared in pretty much all the Netflix shows so far, including this one, and so far I've enjoyed her in all the shows, including this one. Her character is very interesting as well and well developed and I think the romance between her and Luke Cage is very touching at times. Villains, the villains in this show are phenomenal. I would even say they were just as good as Wilson Fisk from Daredevil. Maybe even better. In particular, M Mahershala Ali as Cottonmouth. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. His performance as Cottonmouth was genuinely terrifying at times. The things this character did, and even his backstory, pretty much sums up how great he is as a villain. However, the most despicable of the lot, in my opinion, was Alfred Wood Woodard's character. Again, I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. This character was written and acted to the point where even I took a disliking towards the character, which is something that few villains have actually done to me before. The despicable a aspect of this character made her just as great a villain, villain and character as Cottonmouth. I also love Theo Ro Rosie as Shades. He made for a very entertain entertaining, slimy, despicable, and simi similarly to Cottonmouth, genuinely terrifying villain. I liked how over the top he was. He said things really fast and I just really liked his shades. I know that sounds weird, but give me a break. It's my opinion. So, as far as the main villain of the show goes, Diamondback is his name. He was great. I wouldn't say he's the best of the villains, but he made for some really entertaining scenes that I really liked his backstory with Luke Cage and whenever the two were interacting interacting with it, with each other was also really cool. One thing the show also does with the character of Luke Cage is that they make the character seem vulnerable. At the start of the show, he's pretty much indestructible, and the show keeps going with that until we get to a point where the bad guys actually figure out a way to hurt him, which is something I really like and is a good way to make the show seem more realistic. The show also has its dark moments, similar to the previous two shows, but out... Out of all of them I've seen, this is the most light-hearted, as there are some really charming moments in this show, and other moments where I was just sat there laughing my butt off. However, when it does have its dark moments, they can make for some really dark, emotional, and memorable scenes. Well, admittedly, I did see a couple of the 
these moments coming, even then I still felt the emotion within the scenes and they still came off as really memorable. So now for the action and my god, the action for the most part in the show is fantastic. Admittedly choreography wise, it doesn't live up to what we saw in Daredevil for example, but for the most part it's pretty darn awesome. I find I, I find it really awesome just seeing bullets bounce off Luke Cage's body and seeing him throw bad guys around. If I had to pick a personal favourite action sequence, it would probably be that scene where Luke Cage breaks into a building with a car door and just beats his way through all these bad guys without breaking a sweat. And that's where Luke Cage is going around town in a suit doing stuff for the citizens of Harlem and spouting out awesome one-liners. Yeah, yes, some of the action sequences sequences can get a little repetitive, but this happens very rarely, so I can look past that. Another thing to do another thing to do with the action that I really like about the show is how realistic this show actually is. Whenever Luke Cage is actually being shot shot for example, the bullets don't just bounce off him, they pierce his clothes and then they bounce off him. And the fact that even Luke Cage can get hurt as well. That's a really cool way to make your show more realistic as I said earlier. This cat this kind of of this is kind of obvious but Luke Cage being set in a location to that of Daredevil and Jessica Jones get, gives the character more space to be in his own a hero in his own area or of New York which is a really good good thing that they did because I because I think um, Luke Cage is a character that needs his own part of the world of the world to pretty much be his own hero, without um, having to share a location with another hero. That's just my personal opinion. And this show also tackles a lot of interesting elements that I won't spoil here, and it tackles them in a really interesting way. And I love the show's emphasis on black culture, which is handled in in the most inter interesting way possible, in my opinion. And a lot of people are talking about the soundtrack in this show and how awesome it is. And yes, I'm willing to agree with this. The soundtrack in this show is amazing. I would go as far as to say that it's possibly the best soundtrack from anything Marvel and yes, even Guardians of the Galaxy. Did I have a few issues with it? Well, yes, I only have two in particular. For one, the last two to three episodes, while still very good, do feel a little bit long with some very uninteresting interesting and pointless filler scenes. And a costume gets introduced for one of the villains that feels very, very out of place, tone and story-wise. And I'm not going to go, going to lie, the costume is one of the worst supervillain costumes I've ever seen. It's basically my idea of a really badly made Master Chief cosplay. Or, in a show's case, a pimp stormtrooper. Trust me, you'll know when you see it. It's awful. <coughs> Pardon me. Overall... Luke Cage is an amazing show. I had a lot of fun watching it, and I would easily rewatch this a thousand times over. Is this the best superhero TV show ever? It's definitely one of my favorite superhero t show TV shows of all time. But admittedly, my favorite show show of all time is still The Flash. But still, this is an amazing show, and I would definitely rewatch it again if I had the choice, if um I got the opportunity to, and. Yeah, so with that, with that, I leave it at that. So guys, thank you for watching my review of Luke Cage. I thought this was an amazing show. I mean, it did have a couple of issues, but overall, it's an amazing show. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And and why don't and if you want, check out my previous videos. And I will indeed see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.